Hello, I'm going to walk you through step by step building your first AI agent in NA10 in less than 10 minutes. Let's go. So this is a fresh install of NA10, uh, self-hosted on Railway, so it'll cost about $5 a month. Um, this is the main layout, uh, this is where all your workflows will sit once you've got any built. Uh, but let's start our first one now. Okay, so this is the canvas where you will uh, build all your workflows, agents, automations, etc. Uh, and by cl clicking on the the plus icon here, you can select a trigger, which is how we will uh, how the automation workflow agent will start. Uh, so for now, we're just going to do on chat message because we're going to be chatting to the agent. Um, there's lots of other things, other um, options, which I'll go through in a future video. But for now, we'll just do on chat message. So there we go. And then if you click the plus icon here or up here, uh, you can then add in the next node. And what we're going to do is go straight into advanced AI and go to AI agent. So NAN has um, AI agent capabilities built in as a, as a node, which is very good for the kind of stuff that we'll be building. Um, there's a few different types of agent. So you've got a tools agent, which is what we're going to use, which is for uh, it's the best one if you're using several different tools. Conversational agent, which is more for uh, a simpler, uh, simpler agents when there's less tool use. Then you've got functions agent, plan and execute, which is for much more complex scenarios. React agent and SQL agent, which are from far more um, unique use cases. So we'll go for tools agent. Uh, the prompt source is the chat trigger node, so it's just coming straight from the chat because we're gonna. We're going to chat to the agent and we'll ask it a question or give it an instruction and that's where that will come in um, and then we're just going to add in here a system message so the default here is you are a helpful assistant so we'll leave it at that for now and then the only thing that we have to give our AI agent is a chat model so if you click on the plus icon here uh, we can give uh, the open AI model and there's lots of other ones you can use, but again, I just like for simplicity's sake, I like to use OpenAI. Um, you have to connect your credential. So you have to go to create a new credential and go to OpenAI, uh, create an account if you haven't got one already, and just uh, go to the API key settings and copy and paste your API key in here. And it's as simple as that. I've already got mine done. Um, so that's already connected there. Then we pick the model. I always go for GBT 4.0 for these agents. Uh, it's the, it's just the, the, the best performing. Uh, it's quite cheap and it's it's quite quick and it's just the easiest one to use. So I always I always do this. Um, and that's actually all you need to do to get uh, your agent to be functional. So now let's explore how it works by chatting to it. So let's say. What is the capital of Spain? Capital of Spain is Madrid. Great. Okay. Now let's say, and what is the population? So it doesn't understand what I'm talking about. Um, I, when I said, what is the capital of Spain? It answered, the capital of Spain is Madrid. And that's all the context it needed. When I said, and what is the population, it doesn't know what we previously said because it has no memory currently. So it's asking me to specify the location or it's like, what are you talking about? Which population of what? So to fix this, we can go up and click on the memory, um, drop down here and give the agent some memory. Um, there's some more thorough, complicated options here, but for now we'll just go for Windows buffer memory, which is, uh, it's all set up as default here, it's fine. Uh, this just uses uh, locally stored memory so that uh, the agent can just recall what's been said previously to it. So now, if I say, I'm gonna clear this. So let's say, what is the capital of Spain? Madrid, okay. And then you can see on the right here, it's added it to Windows buffer memory. So now if I say, and what is the population? It's used the Windows buffer memory 
and it's realized that I'm talking about Madrid from the context it have got previously. So now it can say, as of 2023, the population of Madrid is 3.3 million. Okay, great. So now let's say, um, what is the latest news from yesterday? So it says, I'm sorry, I don't have the ability to access real-time news or events that have occurred after my last update. So that's because the model, um, OpenAI's uh, GBT 4.0, was trained on data up to October 2023. So it doesn't have any real-time data. It doesn't have access to the internet or anything. So that's where the tools come in. So let's go to tool and we can, these are the available tools that we can give the agent. So if we go down to uh, CERT API, this is a service which allows us to give the agent access to Google search. Um, so same again, uh, create a new credential. I've already got mine set up. But if you just go to certapi.com uh, and site and register here, there's a, a free tier of um, 100 searches a month for free. So you can just go there and register account, copy and paste your API key into there, save, and you'll be sorted. And we'll just set the language as English. Okay. So now let's say, what is the latest news from yesterday? So it's using the Swap API tool, and it's gonna re re reply with some news. And it's saying, here are some of the key news highlights from October 25th, 2023. Now that is obviously not yesterday. Um, so the issue here is that the agent does not know what date or time it is. And that's because in the prompt, it has no information. It just has, you are a helpful assistant. So what we can do here is if we go to expression, it means we can put in some dynamic content here. So what we can do is say the current date and time is and if we do curly brackets here we can insert a variable which is now and then if we click in here we can see that it's passing through dynamically the date time to the agent so it now has context about what date and time it is so now i can say what is the latest news from yesterday it's using SRPI. API again and it's using the current date and time that it has in its context now and now it's given us key news updates from January 13th 2025 which is yesterday so the horrible wildfires all the, it's all bad news in the world basically um, so yeah and this is a very simple um, agent prompt um, the default here is you are a helpful assistant, but you can do other things with it. So let's just say you are a helpful assistant who speaks like a pirate. Let's do that. And then we'll just say, um, what uh, is the largest country in Africa? And what is its capital? Okay, it's a free geography fact in here for you. Large country is Algeria. <laughs> well, and the capital of Algeria be Algiers. Okay, so you can see how some stupid, simple little adjustments can alter the output uh, of the agent. This is the start of my NA10 AI Agents Masterclass from beginner to pro. This is just scratching the surface. Uh, in the following videos, I'll be covering um, additional tool use, um, advanced agent prompting, uh, multi-agent systems, um, everything you want to build agent systems as complex as you can imagine. I'll make this template and all templates from the future videos in this course available for free. I'll leave a link below. Uh, but I do encourage you to build everything from scratch along with the video and just uh, resort to the templates if you're really struggling to get something to work or you need to dig into something a bit, a bit deeper. Um, the way to learn this stuff is really to, to, to build it from scratch and understand as you're, as you're building bit by bit what, how, how everything connects to each other. Do subscribe to my channel and or newsletter to be notified when the next uh, lessons in this course are released and I'll see you in the next video.